This is cool right here. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian, thanks for joining me. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at another cool product from one of the new channel sponsors, the folks at Trek Outdoor Recreation. What this is in this nifty little bag here is one of the coolest camp chairs I've ever seen. So without a lot of rambling, let me take you down, um, I guess in front of the old stump top. I'll show you why I think this is such a cool chair and we'll get to doing some of that chair stuff. Okay, I got you way back so I can get all this in the frame. I'm sorry about the uh, bright white light on the side of my face. I probably kind of look like that guy on the uh, Batman movie, but anyway, I'm gonna show you this. First of all, let me get a little closer for a second here. This thing comes in a really nice bag. It's a zip up bag. It's got uh, daisy chains on the outside of it so you can strap this to your pack. You don't have to put it inside your pack. So it's just under three pounds if that's within your wheelhouse for backpacking. We'll go ahead and take it out, show you what it's made of. Then I'll go back there and we'll set this thing up where you can see it. So first of all, it comes out of the pack. It's just like many other of these type chairs. Everything is bungee corded together, shot corded together, so it, uh, it just, it, it's all in place. So basically you just make sure that everything goes in the hole it's supposed to. Not complicated at all. And this is aircraft grade aluminum poles, so they're very strong, very lightweight. And when you get it done, you've got, basically you got your legs and you've got your, uh, your frame for the back. One thing you will notice is it has a uh, swivel here, which is pretty cool. That's what I think sets this chair apart and makes it really cool. Take a quick look at the, uh, at the seat pad. Basically, it's got a mesh back to help keep the old coolness factor going or the sweat down. And then you got these little pockets on the back of every corner. And one thing I like about this compared to some other ones I've seen, it's got kind of a stiffener here. So it definitely is gonna help provide a little more support to that corner, I think. It's really simple. You got four poles and four pockets. You're gonna put the uh, upright poles in the pockets like, like so. So let's just get going back here where you can see and we'll do all of them. Now, they recommend doing the bottom first because this thing is pretty, pretty tight. And again, this is the, it's, it's pretty, still pretty new, so I'm sure it'll break in a little bit. But if you do the bottom first, that just allows you to have a little more, uh, you got a little more length on these to get your, uh, kind of bend them in place a little bit because the last one is gonna be the toughest one because it's gonna put, it's got a pretty good bit of tension here, especially as this thing is new. As it, as it breaks in, and you get it, used to it it's probably going to stretch just a little bit but then when you wind up with a chair like this which is really cool now this is cool right here by the way on Trek's website it says that the, the, these chairs are rated for 300 pounds for either a person or animal so you can be a pretty decent sized person and sit in here another thing I want to show you that I really like about these and I've seen some other chairs that, that don't necessarily have that these feet on bottom are really solidly on the uh, aluminum. I had a couple of other brand chairs that that they just got round rubber plugs on the bottom of them, and when you sit in them, it pokes in the ground. Then when you pull the pull the leg up, the rubber foot stays in the ground. Uh, then you have to try to dig it out. I've got a couple that I was unable to find and unable to dig out. So now those chairs just have you know aluminum on the bottom without the feet. So these are not too big to. Um, prevent you from being able to fold it up and keep it compact, but they're big enough and they've got enough of a, a footprint, I think, to keep them from just burying in the ground, which is something you may not think about un until it happens to you, but it's happened to me, and I can tell you that, I don't think that's gonna be an issue with this chair. I like the fact that it swivels. I think that is so cool. Just gives you a little more comfort and convenience when you're when you're camping, if you're trying to, to do stuff, if you're working or you're fishing or whatever, you know, you don't have to lean over. Some of these chairs don't lean as well because they're not as stable as a big chair. So that this being able to swivel really helps you to be able to um, to work around you if you're doing stuff while you're sitting in your chair, for whether camp or fishing or whatever, which I think is pretty cool. Something else I think is really cool and we all seen the camp chairs that you can buy that fold up in the bag and they got the arms on them with a little with a little drink holder and all that. Well, those are really great unless you're trying to play a guitar. What I like about these kind of chairs with no arms is you can sit right here and play a guitar. And it's, there's nothing in the way. The arms typically on, on an armchair, it would be hitting right here. Okay, well, um, Man, see, this is, this is just too cool. Anyway, that's a um, quick look at the Trek swivel chair, which I think is really cool. 
This thing is $79.99 on Trek's website or Amazon, which is uh, about 20 bucks less than a similar chair from REI, which does not feature the swivel. And it's covered by Trek's lifetime warranty, which I think is absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for a really cool, very comfortable, I mean, this thing is just really comfortable. You can lean back in it. You can sit up in it. This, the fact that you can swivel means if you're working on a fire, you don't have to get up and move around. Chuck Norris eats the core of the apple first. Just like the other stuff I've seen from Trek, it just adds a little extra layer of versatility that a lot of competing products don't have. I think they're doing a great job of, of coming out with some really innovative, high quality stuff, which is why that I connected with Trek as a sponsor for the channel, because um, I think they're exactly the kind of company that I like to introduce to you. So, Once again, thanks to the folks at Trek for sponsoring this video. As always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. Thank you so much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time. Okay, real quick, I just want to show you also this thing actually does fit back in the bag and just take it apart pop all the shock cords loose fold it up like so you got a nice little bunch here let's just put them in we'll try it this way so we'll put those in first like so and then I'm just going to roll this up just poke it in there like so and zip this baby up there you go. You even got a nice little carrying handle here. So. And the sun is in my eyes. Well, I like the fact that it swivels.